Anyone recognize this guy? Here's a hint. He was a sports star, and yes, this is a fridge magnet. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to talk about and tell the story of my first ever pair of soccer cleats. Now a little over a week ago I made a video talking about why I didn't go pro and essentially explaining my entire soccer playing career. A lot of you guys enjoyed the video and if you did miss it and want to check it out I'll leave a little pop up on screen. But the reason why I'm telling you this is because in that video I showed this picture for a couple of seconds. A lot of you guys thought it was funny because I'm only four or five years old in this picture but this is actually my first year of playing organized soccer and a lot of you guys asked what shoes I'm wearing in this picture and because this was my, was my first year these are actually my first ever pair of soccer cleats so I figured I would talk about what I remember about these particular cleats and while I didn't know it at the time obviously soccer cleats would become a very very big part of my life so if you want to hear that story please stick around and watch the entire video. Also, if you guys enjoy these stories about older soccer cleats that I used to have while growing up, or just stories about my soccer career and growing up in general, be sure to support this video with a like, and I definitely can make more of these happen if enough of you guys wanna see them. So my first pair of soccer cleats, I'm gonna show you a zoomed in version of this particular picture, focusing on the one shoe that you can actually see. The other one is kind of behind the rest of my leg and body, but you can very clearly see that it is a Nike cleat. That was my first pair of soccer cleats. Now in terms of the selection process with this particular shoe, I honestly don't remember going to a store and trying these on or picking these out myself. I'm fairly confident in saying that my mom or my dad or perhaps the two of them together ended up buying these for me. It's possible that I was at the store with them, but like I said, I don't remember that. Although I do remember picking out my second pair of soccer cleats, which were the ones that I wore the next season, which we'll talk about in just a second. But these are Nike cleats. They're navy blue and white in color. I know they kind of look a little bit black in the picture, but they were navy blue, which I guess was kind of cool at the time because the majority of stuff would have been white or black. And it's got these two white streaks with a small Nike swoosh running down the inside and outside of the shoe. The laces were slightly off-centered as well and it did have the little fold over flap tongue. So it does have kind of that old school Air Zoom T90 style look to it. Although I don't believe that this was a T90 model. I just did a little bit of research online trying to figure out what specific shoe this was and I couldn't really find anything that looked all that similar to this particular model. So what I think this is, maybe you guys know differently if you're a little bit older than me, down below in the comments, let me know. But I think this is kind of a youth specific model because these would have been fairly small, probably like a size one or two youth size. So very, very small. And it might've just been a, a made for youth model variation of a Nike shoe because these were fairly generic. This was not a high end shoe by any means, had the cheaper synthetic upper, and then it had basically just the solid rubber bottom with the studs all kind of one piece. I'm sure a lot of you guys growing up have had shoes very, very similar to this in regards to the overall construction. So in regards to these being a particularly high end or premium shoe, that simply was not the case. It was my first pair of shoes and it was basically what I was given to be worn. So that's what I wore. Although I do remember thinking that they looked pretty cool as a kid, which I guess is important for a lot of young kids. You want your shoes to look cool on your feet. And I was definitely happy with the way these looked. Anyways, that's pretty much it in terms of what I remember about my first ever pair of soccer cleats. I wish I still had them. Unfortunately, that is not the case. I want to say they either got thrown out or donated, but even when I was done using them, once I had grown out of them, which was basically after one season, they were still in pretty good shape. I mean, you're not really going to wear out shoes too quickly playing house league soccer at four or five years old. At least for most people, that's not going to be the case. My second pair though, I do remember actually picking out myself and I guess I'll tell that story really quickly. I wanna say it was at a Zellers, which I don't even know if that's a Canadian thing, but Zellers is basically like Walmart, Kmart, Target, there's all kinds of variations of those style of stores. So basically the footwear section that they have tends to be more no-name stuff. And I remember picking out a specific pair of soccer cleats that I had. they had on a table in the shoe section at a Zellers. They were really, really cheap. They were black in color with blue and white detailing on the side. I don't remember what brand they were. I want to guess that it was a miter shoe, but I'm not 100% sure. I just remember them being very, very cheap. And obviously at five or six years old, I didn't really know any better. I asked my mom if I could get them. She said yes, because like I said, they were super, super cheap. And those were the shoes that I wore for my second season playing soccer. Uh, don't have those anymore either. Again, it would have been really cool to have hung on to all of this stuff over the years, but that didn't end up happening. 
While we're at it, I figured I'd point out a few funny details in this picture because I think it is kind of hilarious that I found this. I'm gonna try to find some of my older pictures growing up playing soccer so you can see what I look like as well as what shoes I was wearing at the time because I pretty much, like a lot of kids, had a new pair of cleats every single season. So I guess that would be kind of cool to see my boot history in older pictures. So if I can find more, I'll try to make more of these videos if you guys wanna see that. So let me know down below in the comments. But you can see, I talked about in the story of my career that I was a little bit chubbier growing up, which actually in this picture, I don't think I look too chubby, but you can definitely tell that I'm not the skinniest kid in the world either. My haircut, I would say actually is pretty good, all things considered. A lot of people have some pretty embarrassing haircuts at a young age, but this one actually doesn't look too bad. I have no front teeth in this picture, which is funny because I am smiling with Probably the first, at least the front two teeth, maybe the front four teeth, really difficult to say, but uh, not the greatest smile there, I would say. Never was a picture kid growing up, so that's probably why I'm not particularly enthusiastic looking. And then the jersey, these are really, really ugly. This, it doesn't show in the picture that well, but this jersey was like a metallic orange, and then the stripes that look black were actually more of like a metallic brown. It's one of the ugliest jerseys ever. I wonder if I still have this now that I'm thinking about it. It's possible that this might be lying around somewhere. If I find it, I'll try to make a video or maybe show you guys on Instagram or something like that. But you can see it says Tim Hortons on the front, which is a very Canadian thing. The first organized house league soccer you can play in Canada, in most places, it does depend on where you live, is Timbit Soccer. And Timbits are basically the donut holes or the, the small circular donuts that you can buy at the Tim Hortons Donut and Coffee Shop, which in Canada, if you don't know, is super, super popular. Depending on where you are in the country, there'll be a Tim Hortons on every other block. There's that many of them around, and they do a lot of sponsorship for the kind of early ages organized soccer, basically all of the small kids house, house league. So Tim Hortons is on the front and it's referred to as Timbit Soccer. And everybody has a different style of jersey. This year, my first year, it happened to be really ugly metallic orange and brown stripes. But uh, that's pretty much it in terms of the uniform. I guess black socks, black uh, shorts, pretty straightforward there. And then also take a look at the Adidas ball in this picture, which is pretty cool. That's kind of old school. It's not actually an Adidas Tango. It just would have been the current Adidas ball at the time. Kind of a more old school design that we don't necessarily see all that much of anymore. Um, now they're kind of much more modern in terms of the, the look and the design and all that stuff, but that's pretty cool to see in the picture. And also something that I noticed now that I'm looking at it, and hopefully you guys will be able to see this in the picture. If you look at the horizon, or I guess the, the ground here behind my head, it's actually crooked, which is kind of funny because these pictures would have been done by a professional sports photographer that you have to pay a good amount of money for. I'm not sure that any of these pictures would have been particularly cheap. Basically, they have picture day in House League. I'm sure a lot of you guys have done this before. But now that I'm looking at it, the background is actually kind of on a, on a slight slant, which I think is pretty funny considering this is supposed to be a professional photography type situation here. So that's pretty much it in terms of the details of the picture. Hopefully, you guys got your laughs in. I think it's pretty funny. And again, if I do find more, I'll try to make more videos if you guys like this one. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. Again, if you did enjoy this style of video and perhaps want to see more like it, be sure to support this one with a like. If you have any questions for me or suggestions, leave them down below in the comments, and I'll definitely get a response out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.